Welcome to Barcelona. Gears open, main straight. It's actually quite a quite a long straight line. Um, and then turn one, super late braking. Uh, just before 50 meters, going in fifth gear. Uh, get a lot of speed. It's it's also one of the only place you can really overtake in Barcelona, but that means you need to have a really good exit of the chicane. Turn two, flat out in qualifying, just on the limit using every fifth of track you can. Turn three, flat. Um, made a big mistake there in 2018 at the start. Uh, I spun and then kept going on throttle to. Yeah, uh, wasn't wasn't pretty. Uh, turn four here. I think you remember the both Mercedes. Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg colliding. Um, you carry a lot of spin going into the corner, so you really need good confidence on your rear end, and then release the brake and gently go on throttle. Um, more confidence you have, more open you can use the line, and, and earlier you can go on throttle. Then turn five, it's actually quite blind when you go in, um, and then that's that's always a corner where you pick up understeer. Always, always, always uh, loads of understeer. And you just want the car to turn, 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 but it, you have to wait. Um, on exit, you can actually use that curb a lot. Um, and then we go through turn seven here. Uh, fourth gear in the race, fifth gear in quality. So late on the brake. I mean, you need to be so confident. I mean, one winter testing a spun on the brake here uh, and finishing the gravel, but uh, you need to carry so much momentum into it. And then use as much as you can exit here. But make sure that you're back on track before the sausage curb because that, that gives a big hit on the chassis on your back and for sure it's going to destabilize the car um, a lot. Turn 9, flat, flat out corner. Uh, amazing to see that that corner can be flat. Flat out corner that uh, brings you onto the back straight second the RS zone. And the slower speed corner of the track, big braking 100 meters. Uh, same thing here, we always use some different mappings on the brake shape, the migration of brake balance towards the rear, the differential and the engine braking. So that corner requires a lot of front end. Uh, so you go aggressive on the maps and then you go out, out on throttle and you've got very, very little time before you get to turn uh, 12 here. And that corner requires completely the opposite. So you try to play with your toggle that here you stabilize the entry uh, by closing the diff, pushing the brake balance forward, and so on and so on. So that means between turn 10 and 12, you've got to do a lot of stuff. Here you go early on throttle, uh, use the curb on exit, and that corner, it's also very tricky because you don't want to apply too much brakes. The, the tires are obviously very hot from low speed section here, and, um, and you don't want to overheat them because the next corner is completely key. So. You decide how much how wide you can exit. A uh, really good car can go can exit wide and come back very easily here. The slower car is struggling a little bit more, so you kind of do half half. And here, here the chicane. Uh, you need to use as much inside curb as you can without touching the sausage on that one. And on this one is the same thing. And here, you really want to have the best carbon as possible because that's gonna that's gonna clearly, you know, go onto the straight line and and carry the momentum towards. Here and that corner is, is completely flat. Um, so yeah, basically you want that chicane to be key for you uh, to get a good lap and also to get any chance to overtake anyone uh, towards turn one. 